Ali Ursan, involved in the honor killings, smuggled drugs into jail, stole from a mosque, and has killed before. That's what a prosecutor told the jury as the punishment phase of his trial began today. We were first to tell you yesterday at 5 o'clock that a grand jury had found Ursan guilty of capital murder, not a grand jury, a jury uh, that was impaneled in the case. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard joining us live from outside the courthouse downtown. Ryan? And this part is expected to take a long time, Bill, at least two weeks. And we're told it will involve crimes that never made it to court. One day after convicting Ali Ersan of capital murder, prosecutor John Stevenson told jurors that Ersan has killed before and bragged about it. In opening statements for the penalty phase, prosecutor said Ersan also killed another man that one of his daughters had married, who was also not Muslim. On Thursday, the jury found him guilty of killing Galare Bergazadeh and his daughter's husband, Cody Beavers, Michael Beavers' brother. Well, that's going to be up to the jury, but we're hoping that this, that he will face justice. Prosecutors said that Ersan defrauded the federal government, defrauded his own mosque, and is an ongoing threat. This ends the fifth week of the trial. The penalty phase is expected to continue for at least two weeks with witnesses from around the world. I think this punishment stage, like the trial on the merits at guilt innocence, is going to be longer than your typical death penalty trial. KPRC 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss says the defense will have one goal, sparing Ersan's life. What we will likely see is the state putting on witnesses to show that this defendant deserves the ultimate punishment for the ultimate crime. Hey, court is wrapped up for the day. Everybody will be back here again Monday morning. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.